Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this one, I want to step away from Oblivion, because I'm like an Oblivion channel at this point. And I want to talk about Clash Royale, and if it's a good casual game, because I think that, you know, mobile games, if there's enough content in them, they're, they're more video gaming. You know, like Farmville and stuff back in the day, not really video gaming, but Clash Royale actually, I think, is very much a main game. But anyway, let's get into it. So Clash Royale, if you don't know, it is a 1v1 or 2v2 game where you have this like bar that fills up, you and the opponent, same same pace, and you have these cards that you play down and they just go straight forward. You know, you can't control any of the cards. And you battle each other and try to take down each other's towers. And there's a lot of strategy involved with it, actually. I'm not going to lie. It's a free game and... I noticed, I don't know if it actually does this, but I think it penalizes you for, like, paying for one card and, like, super leveling it. I believe it, that it doesn't give you that card, like, as much. But anyways, you unlock these chests, get these cards, and you unlock gold and you level up these cards. And the higher you are on the 1v1 ladder, the more cards you get. So, first of all, this game has a deep strategy all right the learning curve is pretty simple you're just putting down cards right but i would say uh, there's like 10 arenas plus the, the pro level arenas right um i would say at arena like three and four is when you're gonna figure out if this game is for you or not because at arena three and four it's a lot of starting to do strategy right so for instance Maybe you have a super expensive card, so you have to balance it out, you know, with weak cards, or you do a super expensive deck, super cheap deck, or, you know, you figure out, put the, the, the beefy guy here, let him walk up, then put the damage people there. It really gets into that level of strategy, and then when you start getting to Arena 5, 6, 7, 8, you start getting cards that zap, that freeze, that stun, different buildings that do the same thing, but one is stronger than the other, one is cheaper than the other. You know, you get into all of this, different ranges on different cards. Then, you also get to the aspect of, well, if I level up this card more than the other cards, it's going to have a different effect on the battlefield, right? A perfect example of this is the Zap card. Okay, the Zap card, if you have a level, let's just say you have a level 6 Zap against level 6 Spear Goblins, it will kill the Spear Goblins. If it's a level 7 Zap... It will kill goblins and spear goblins, and I believe at that point it will still want kill minions. So that zap is like infinitely more valuable than the other level zap. Beyond that, you have the mirror card at that point, and it's just there's a meta, but there's a diff there's different kinds of metas, right? So in that case, it's actually easier to understand because maybe you know you don't have a good card strategy, but you have a good card price strategy. So maybe your cards don't work together, but the pricing of them, it, you got it nailed down, right? So the systems of this game are actually separated pretty well to understand, you know, you can understand them one at a time. I don't play this game a lot. I mean, I'm good at the game because I've played it enough, but I haven't played it a lot and I still understand a lot about the game. The nice thing about learning in this game is if your opponent does something to you, that, you know, maybe it's a trick play or something, you can see the entire board. So it's very easy to see what they did. And then if you're in a clan, you can friendly battle with someone and test out different things. So even though there's a large, large meta, there's different sets of metas in Clash Royale, it's easy to, it's easy to learn, not so easy to master, but it's easy to learn all the parts to master it. And in that case, it's a very good casual game, right? You get a little bit better each time. Playing the game at, at some points is like muscle memory. Yeah, you only get like four chests, but if you want to binge on it for one day, th there's stuff to do to binge, you know? And eventually, you know, as you get higher in the arenas, things do get harder. But, I mean, if it's like... It, it's literally a perfect game for sitting on the toilet. Perfect amount of time per match. And if you're like waiting in line... Maybe it's like, I don't know, DM, the DMV. This game is, oh my god, I got the headphones. This game is perfect for it. 
So it is casual in the sense that you can fit it in everywhere, and then you don't have to worry about sitting down for an hour or two to learn the game. You can fit it in four times every day, right? Four or five, actually at that point, you could probably fit it in like eight times every day and not even worry about it. Just pop it out, boom, play a game, you know, do your thing, come back home, go to the bathroom, play your game, eat some food, render a video, play your game while you render the video, and boom. So with all of that being said, Clash Royale, in my opinion, not only is it free, it is a great casual game with a decent skill curve that, with the way the game is built, it's so easy to learn the skill curve, but it's still challenging because it still feeds you all these different challenges, all these different challenges all the time in Clash Royale. So if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. You can subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos. And apparently I'm becoming an Oblivion tutorial channel, which I'm cool with. That's right, but I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, steam, post of whatever I decide to make.